So it is Wednesday, also known as Hump Day, and today we've got a great recipe that's perfect for a busy weeknight as it is so easy to make and comes together in under 30 minutes. We're talking a garlicky saffron rice. Now when I tell you that this dish is super easy to make, I'm seriously telling you it is effortless to put together. But the best part, it's all done using just one pan for a very easy cleanup at the end and the flavors are absolutely beautiful. Folks, you can serve this rice as a main course next to a salad or even as a side dish next to some grilled fish. Either way, this is what simple and delicious food is all about. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan and heating it with a medium heat. While the pan is heating, I'm going to thinly slice two shallots. You can also use onions here. I just prefer to use the shallots as they're a lot more mellow in flavor. That way it doesn't overpower the garlic and saffron. Then I'm going to roughly chop six cloves of garlic. For this recipe, you don't want to finely mince the garlic. You want to roughly chop it. That way there's larger chunks of garlic in there. It's what gives this rice dish that incredible pop of garlic goodness. And we'll roughly chop one medium sized carrot that's been peeled and washed. Once the vegetables have been cut, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into the hot pan, which is 30 milliliters. Once again, remember you want this to be on a medium heat and we'll instantly add in the chopped vegetables. Now the reason why I'm adding the olive oil at the same time as the vegetables and not beforehand in heating it is that way it doesn't lose any of its beautiful flavor and it all gets absorbed by the vegetables. And you want to make sure to mix the vegetables around continuously that way they all evenly saute. After about two minutes and the shallots are starting to become translucent and the carrots and garlic lightly sauteed, I'm going to season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. We'll give this a quick mix, that way those seasonings are evenly coating all the vegetables. And then add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 475 milliliters. As always, the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above and description box below. Of course, you can also use water here, but I do recommend you add in a vegetable bouillon cube if you're using water, as it adds so much more flavor to this dish. Then I'm going to pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. And we'll turn up the heat from a medium heat to a high heat to bring that broth to a boil. Now the saffron threads I'm using for this recipe, as always, are from Golden Saffron. Like I always tell you, this is one of the best saffrons in the market and it truly shines in this recipe. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. Once the broth comes to a boil, it's time to add in the rice. For this recipe, I'm going to be using long grain rice, but you can use whatever type of rice you like, though the liquid to rice ratio might be different, so make sure to check the package instructions. I'm going to measure out one cup, which is 190 grams. Add the rice into a sieve and rinse it under some cold running water, just between 20 to 30 seconds, or until the water starts running clear underneath the sieve. Then I'm going to add in the rice into the boiling broth. And we'll give this one final mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. Then I'm going to place a lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're going to simmer this on a low medium heat until all that broth has been absorbed by the rice, which should be between 15 to 18 minutes. Once again, it depends on the rice that you're using here. In the meantime, I'm going to reserve one third cup of frozen peas, which is 45 grams. After simmering the rice for about 15 minutes and there's virtually no more broth left in the pan, I'm going to remove the lid, add in the one third cup of frozen peas, making sure they're evenly spread out. Place the lid back on the pan and remove it from the heat. And we're going to leave our rice to sit here between three to four minutes with the lid on. That way that steam stays trapped in there. This is going to ensure that those peas are ultra tender but without losing their color and for the rice to be perfectly cooked through. After about four minutes, I'm going to remove the lid from the pan and using a fork, I'm going to gently fluff the rice, that way all the grains of rice are separated from each other. 
and we'll transfer a rice into a serving dish. Check it out. Our garlicky saffron rice is done. This is known here in Spain as arroz al azafran con ajo. So easy to make, beautiful presentation, and done in just under 30 minutes. Let's give this a try and see how it tastes. Now this is a dish that truly defines that sometimes simple cooking can be the best cooking. Here we go. It's so good. First things first, the rice is perfectly cooked. You have all that garlic in there and then the saffron just takes it to the next level. You know, for this recipe, you don't want to substitute the saffron as it truly is the star of the show. So make sure to use the real deal, folks. You saw this very easy to make, done in a little under 30 minutes and it's all done using just one pan. In my opinion, this is what great food is all about. Give it a try. You're going to absolutely love it. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Clarence Bolin, Martin Giddings, Aravinda Garimea, Robert Manahan, Linda Bufano, and Hollis Helmichi. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support Spain on a Fork, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.